Before I ask you to be seated, oh, just a little teaching moment from my Greek neighbors that I used to live by. I'm going to say Hallelujah, Christos Anesti, and your response will be Alethos Anesti, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Christos Anesti. Alethos Anesti, Hallelujah. Please be seated. So, yes, I live by a Greek Orthodox family who had eight of them, eight in the family, and you know, the, they celebrate their Easter generally on another day. But every now and then it's on the same day. I don't know what it is this year. But they were always happy that their Easter followed our Easter because the kids told me, the candy's on sale. <laughs> <laughs> this is the pinnacle day of our Christian faith. Yes, it beats out Christmas. <laughs> no matter how many gifts you get, how good they are, it beats it out. Without today, the day of the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, it all falls apart. The gospel becomes just dead words on a page. Christmas becomes a nice time of year to gather with family and nothing else without Jesus' victory over the grave. Without Christ's victory over the grave, Pentecost becomes a true symbol of an institution that could best be served by becoming the United Way, guided by need only and not guided out of love. <coughs> without the divinity of Jesus, he becomes just a nice guy who did nice things for people. Without his victory over death, as we heard Paul say in his letter to the Corinthians, our hope is in vain. And the saving grace of his living, his dying, and his ministry and mission <coughs> is all for naught. Without the victory over the grave. And our freedom, without the possibility of amendment of life through that grace, becomes our death. But here is the good news. We are here celebrating the victory of the cosmic Christ over the grave. Christ's grave and the victory over our grave. Through Christ, our victory over the grave gives us freedom that allows us to have a deep, personal relationship and a deep corporate relationship with a living God who relishes in our freedom to live life and live it abundantly. And a God who will welcome us back into relationship even after we've strayed too far in serving ourselves only. Strayed too far in, too far in relationship with ourselves only and not in relationship with God and neighbor. The God of love cannot be trampled under death. Love will prevail. The God of love will never abandon us even unto the grave. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen.